Are you looking to become a Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central Functional Consultant? Do you want a structured 30-day roadmap to help you master Business Central? This video is for you. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Gomati and in this video, I'm going to walk you through a step-by-step 30-day -step roadmap to become a Business Central Functional Consultant. This roadmap includes a free learning resource, real world examples and tips to help you build expertise and get ready for the MB800 certification exam as well as to become a functional consultant. So let's get started. <coughs> So this is my github page um, so here you can find a repository for the business central so please go ahead and start my github repository pages and this is the 30 day functional consult consultant roadmap which we are going to discuss okay so the first one is like aim anywhere anywhere like whatever the technology or the uh, new thing which you are learning you should start with the fundamental so the week one we will be concentrating with the fundamentals of um, business central so before diving into the modules, you know, you should understand these fundamentals. The first week is all about the basics, navigation, setting up your environment. So first one, you have to go ahead with introduction to business central. What is overview of ERP? So what do you mean by ERP? What is Dynamics 365 Business Central? You should understand the difference between cloud versus on premise. If you want the um, a video like what is a business central uh, on premise versus um, versus cloud so you can just uh, go ahead uh, to my um, uh, youtube channel so there is gomes tech talk so here you can find a lot of useful playlist so first thing you have to go ahead is for the playlist okay so once if you click this playlist it will take you to the uh, complete playlist structure okay so the just to scroll down you can see that for the business central functional consultant this is the uh, first playlist which i will uh, refer that is functional consultant 101 mastering the fundamentals okay and then you should also check my 41 days functional consultant boot camp so here i've started from who is a functional consultant what you should do and everything related to the business central so you can get it with the solution in the exercises okay so here if you just go ahead and search for the on-premises and uh, online uh, online versus on-premises um, uh, business central okay mm, and then you can just search for gomes tech talks so whatever uh, any topic which is related to business central you can just go ahead and search like this so you can see here that this is business central expert which is on premises versus online so here you will understand what is the difference between both okay so uh, you can start you can also go ahead and start with the microsoft learning path this is another important useful resource this is like mb 800 useful resource so you can start with how to what is the business central and everything and uh, these two resources you can definitely refer to okay so the first one which i can refer is was a gomstead talks and here you can find a lot of playlists as i showed you so the important playlist which will help you is what these two playlists okay yes so this is the first uh, uh, two days first and second day and the third day you have to understand what is a role center pages and menus so uh, i am i'll be conducting a live sessions often so in my live sessions you can see that what is a business central for non techies how you should get started so here you can see business central for non techies i will just comment this link in the description you can find it so here i have uh, i just take you to took you through the business central uh, you know like um, what is a ui user interface how stuff works and everything so you can understand this okay and how to personalize and uh, access the quick quick tips this is another important thing so you should understand how to customize your dashboard optimize your workflow and everything and the first week should end with the basic company setup how should you set up a company using how you should uh, use the roles and permissions etc so where to see that you can also find it here in the learning path or else you can find it in this particular playlist just go ahead to gomes tech toss go to the playlist and then if you just scroll down you can see business central 101 mastering essentials just right click here 
and you can see that here you can see how to set up a company what is the interface um, what is the roles and responsibility role explorer you know like everything um the so everything it is there okay so you can find it here uh, so that is the first one okay that is we have completed the first week got it so the next one is what the core modules in finance so what are the core modules in finance second important thing for any business is what the uh, finance thing okay so you should understand the basic concept like what is a chart of accounts of course for finance and operations we have a separate business central um, software for that fno but here you have a finance but anyhow you should know how to operate your uh, business right so you should learn chart of accounts general ledger financial report dimensions bank reconciliation tax setup and budgeting so i have also discussed about all these things here okay you can see that um this this particular thing if you just scroll down you can see here that um how to create a chart of accounts you know like complete things are here with the proper best practices as well and you can find the financial uh, day in this bootcamp this 41 days bootcamp you can find the financial part okay so if you just scroll down you can see this is a project management um and um, this is the sales and forecasting inventory you know you can find the finance as well here okay so i have started with the basic explanation so your day 8 and 10 8 9 8 9 10 is over in 11 and 12 you should understand what is the sales and purchase so what is the sales order what is the sales invoice what is sales code a purchase order purchase invoice purchase code how to you how should you manage your vendor your customer and everything okay and day 13 and 14 you should start with the inventory setup i'm not sure whether everyone have access to the inventory setup but if you have access please go ahead and check that inventory setup i how to manage the item how to add the items warehouse configuration and stock management you know everything you should learn this is also included here you can see here bank recon bank reconciliation set up financial management get started with the trade account inventory management you know everything is here and even i have discussed about inventory management in my bootcamp as well okay so you can see here most of the important videos are only for the members so if you wish to join my uh, uh, join my channel as a member so you can just check here so just click this join and then you can join as a member okay so this is what you have completed the day uh, week 2 that is your completed 14 days now let's go ahead with the week 3 which is you should start with manufacturing and the jobs okay so you should understand what is production order what is bom what is routing and then jobs work breakdown structure everything so everything related to the manufacturing you should start learning and understanding those things here so this is little bit intermediate to advanced level topic where you should understand how this bill of material works you know like project tracking cost management everything so the same module you can also find it in your mb800 as well okay so how to do these things you know uh, purchase orders and everything so you can see here purchase order this is related to your uh, items and uh, uh, inventory you can also find some warehouse management here inventory management okay so your 15 and 16 day is fine and next one is services and the project management service order how to manage the contract invoice project tracking and budgeting free resources and everything and finally you should end up with like end your week 3 with a power platform integration you should know how to do the power bi reports how to integrate power bi reports how to use power automate workflow management power app okay i have missed it here so you should also include power app here okay so power app in business central so uh, this is like if you should know this being a being um, business central functional consultant that is why i have also included in the 41 days bootcamp so you can see here everything i have uh, mentioned like how to integrate uh, your business central with power automate power app and if you want to go ahead with the power bi you can go ahead and check it in my uh, business central technical consultant tutorial here okay so here if you just click it you know you can see the power uh, app bi integration okay so here you can just go and type for power 
BI. So you can see Power BI Report and Business Center integration. So you can find that as well. Okay, and you are you are now ready. And on the week four, you should start with Business Center extensions and customization. How the AL extension works, how to upload it in the App Source APIs, custom reports and page customization. everything and then you should have a hands on practical and real world scenario that you can find it here i have given a lot of, i have given a, a, a exercise and solution for almost all the days okay so here you can see the exercise will be here okay uh, and the solution will be there you can find everything there so um, that is what you you should have the hands on practices and you should understand the use case and business scenario for each and every project for example if you are doing something like an um, uh, inventory management you should understand what is the um, uh, business scenario the use case okay and then finally to talk as what the exam preparation and mb 800 so i'll be conducting a live ama session with the experts who has completed uh, you know like who has completed business uh, central mb 800 exam so here if you go to the live session you can say i have already uh, conducted a session on mb 800 uh, ask me about anything so this session will be streamed again not the same thing like if you have any questions if you want to come up with the questions you can also come up with that so we i'll be conducting a um, uh, ask me anything sessions here so you can also see that okay and finally uh, the certification so take take the mb 800 exam and also you can just look for the career opportunities i have explained about where to go ahead and check for the career opportunities which uh, which extension sorry which url you have to check everything okay in this in this playlist that is technical um thing okay so you can see here um there will be two uh, videos which will help you to understand you know like um how to go ahead with that this is one faq okay so faq uh, business central faq part 1 2 so you can go ahead and check that in the part 2 you can find how to find the um um how to find the your job which website you should check for you know so here you can find it yes that's all about the today's video and i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions you know you can ask me and that's it uh, by the following this 30 day road 30 days road map you know you will give a gain a hands on experience with business central and be ready for the mb 800 examination to help you further please go ahead and check the microsoft learn and also my um, channel in the playlist you can find it okay so if you found this video helpful hit the like button subscribe and uh, share it with everyone turn on the notification for more content let me know if the com in the comments let me know if you have any questions or uh, i'm happy to see you in the next video thank you take care bye bye have a great day and great week ahead